Hello everyone, this is Ulysses with Legion Tactical. We're going to be talking about one of my favorite subjects today, and that is range time. Now I know everybody generally likes going to the range and shooting from the bench, and that's a really good way to work on fundamentals. However, today we're going to focus on some things that you can do to take you above and beyond those basics. Once you've got the fundamentals down, you can really start to work on your skill base. I'm going to start out by showing you some simple drills that you can do at your average public or private range. One of the most simple but important tasks to master is reloading your primary fighting weapon. To do reload drills, you just need an extra mag at the ready, one in the rifle or pistol if that's what you're practicing, and quite a few rounds to be proficient. Now, regardless of what weapon system you're practicing on, repetition is key. Fire a few rounds, do a mag change, reacquire the target, and shoot again. Simple as that. Remember, being smooth is much more important than being fast, because being smooth will get you to the point of being fast later on. Being fast right away is just going to be sloppy. As you can see, it wasn't necessary to be using a long range. I was practicing on a 50 yard range. This is not necessary because what you were working on is weapon manipulation rather than marksmanship. As I demonstrated, it isn't the round count that is important with this drill, but rather the repetition of the magazine change itself and the manipulation of the weapon system. Once you get these types of drills down by yourself, you can try practicing them with a buddy and alternating fire to maintain a steady stream of lead on the target. This helps you work on coordination as well as communication with your fellow shooters. Whether you're shooting and training for tactical reasons or for competitive reasons, these are both very important skills. The next step is adding mobility to the drills. Among the shooting community, these have become known affectionately as run and gun drills. Now most ranges won't let you do these unless you're part of a class. However, you could do them on private property. Here you'll see me and my friend, mentor, and longtime shooter, Kato, doing a run and gun on his private range. Now remember, if you're going to run drills like these, it's important to know what is behind your targets and to have a safe setup, so that way you can avoid injuring yourself or others. Now we'll see Kato running the same drill with an old Colt H-bar.
Okay, and clear. He show you very well how to access and utilize cover, as well as how much different shooting under stress can be compared to bench shooting. As your heart rate goes up, your motor skills will undoubtedly go down. And clear. clear. All right, clear. Yep. And we're clear. Now, as long as you're being safe, these can be a really fun way to master new skills as a shooter. Now that's all for today, but I'm going to leave you with a quote from my friend Kato. He always says, speed is fine, but accuracy is final. So I'll leave you on that note for today. This is Ulysses with Legion Tactical, signing out.